Christina here for Card Player TV, bringing you the final table preview show for the 2010 Pokestars.net Caribbean Adventure $25,000 buy-in high rollers event. Of the 84 players that started, there are finally eight players left. After four hours of nine-handed play, Sandra Nauyax was knocked out on the final table bubble. Here are your final eight players. In seat one is Aldofa Vallesa from Uruguay. He's sitting on 790,000 in chips. He's the only amateur at the final table, but he also made the final table in the high roller event in London. In seat two is William Reynolds. He's 21 years old and he's sitting on 482,000 in chips. He placed fourth in the EPT San Remo last season for $490,000, but most of his scores have been online. In seat three is Michael Brummelhaus. He's 26 years old and from the Netherlands. He's got 394,000 in chips. He's been known as a cash game pro, but recently transitioned to tournaments. His biggest online cash was for $144,000 for winning the $1,000 WCOOP second chance on PokerStars. Seat four is Dmitry Stelmach. He's 24 years old and from Russia. He's a short stack with 150,000 in chips. He's a full-time pro and his best live result so far was last year when he chopped for first in a $3,000 buy-in Bellagio Cup preliminary event. C5 is Will Molson. He's 22 years old and from Montreal. He's got 669,000 in chips. Last year, he finished second to Bertrand Grospelier in this same event. In C6 is Tobias Rankenmeyer. He's 22 years old and from Germany. He's got over 1 million in chips and is your chip leader. Nearly all of his scores have been online. In seat 7 is Lisa Hamilton. She's 38 years old from Las Vegas. She has 440,000 in chips. She's a well-known high-stakes cash game player and had never played a tournament before the $1,000 buy-in World Series of Poker latest event this summer, which she won. In C8 is Matt Marafiati. He's 21 years old and from Toronto, Canada. He's got 236,000 in chips. He's an online pro but has cashed in four out of the last five events he's played. Last summer he came in 12th in the $40,000 buy-in anniversary event for $172,000. We caught up with the chip leader Tobias Rankenmeyer after play ended. All right, Tobias, it seemed like play down to the final eight went really well for you. You chipped up. Tell me how, how you think it went for you. Yeah, it was, uh, I actually started to the final uh, nine with a very healthy stack. I think I was second in chips or even chip leader. So that was quite nice. And um, I was looking forward to dinner at eight. It was like 7.15 and then we had a couple of short stacks. But uh, yeah, it turned out, turned out to... Um, run like every shot, like doubled up every time and it went like trillions of times uh, like that and um, yeah I was playing pretty aggressively and picking up some chips and then uh, losing the coin flip just right before ace king against eights and again the shots like double like the tenth time in a row but finally uh, I got it in with uh, jacks against ace nine and they hold and so I'm happy with my stack and with my play and everything. Well, it seemed like a lot of the other big stats who started with a big stack nine-handed, they were kind of dwindling, but you were the only one really picking up some chips. Why do you think that was? I have no clue. I think everybody was tired and I'm like exhausted as hell right now and um, really looking forward to going to bed and having like a beer and sleep. <laughs> but um, yeah. Maybe this might affect, might have affected, and also the fact that like eight is the final table only, and everybody wanted to reach it, so that might be a factor as well. Thanks for tuning in to the final table preview show. Make sure you follow along with the live updates by clicking the CP Live button on the Card Player homepage. I'm Christianette for Card Player TV.